Hello and welcome to a noob sky to dwarf fortress. I am your host, TMG's Rossi Boys215. Join me as I teach you how to play Dwarf Fortress. The first step is to download the Lazy Noob Pack, which can be found in the link in the description. Just click this download now button. What you want to do is you want to make a folder and put all of these files in there. And create a shortcut to this lazy new pack file here and put it on your desktop somewhere makes it much easier and once you've done that run it it should load up something that looks a bit like this it is the Dwarf Fortress graphical user interface and I'll show you how to use it and what everything does so economy um, basically enables the economy trading etc invaders you don't want invaders really if you're just learning how to play the game temperature you can turn that on and off I usually keep economy temperature and weather on and liquid depth the rest I just leave either default or off aquifers I turn off exotic animals I turn off and invaders I turn off aquifers because if you don't know what they are they're like a infinite source of water that floods your fort and it's annoying and not very helpful if you're trying to teach somebody how to play the game Graphics wise, I use the Iron Hand pack to in to install a pack because you start out with the ASCII default when you first download this uh, GUI. You want to click the Iron Hand and install graphics. I'll show you how to use the u utilities, and I don't want it in window. I want it. I want it in full screen. So everything is very nice. Let's run Dwarf Fortress. Okay, so when you first launch Dwarf Fortress, it will look something like this. So let's create a new world. And press escape to continue. I usually leave all of these on default, but for the purposes of this, I'm going to set my mineral currents to frequent. And, oh yeah, I always put my history to short. I usually leave everything else on default, but the, for the purposes of this, I'm going to put mineral currents on frequent because uh, it's better to teach you guys how to play. And the rest is kind of self explanatory, apart from savagery. Uh, basically, makes the world more difficult to settle by putting places that are haunted, sinister, and something else. Uh, all of them look purple on the map. But anyway, uh, and this is the map by the way, this isn't the actual zoomed in version of the game. This is just the world generating and the icons show what kind of things are there. So right now we're generating the history of the map as you can see up in this corner. Uh, the age of myth apparently. And the world name is called... Madongramal, the po the portentous plains. That can't be the world name, can it? Maybe, I don't know. But let us wait for this world to generate, or the history to to generate. Right. So once your history is generated, you can press Enter to accept, and your be offloading your units. Right, so once this is done, you'll be synchronizing your folders and then we should be getting to the world screen shortly. But because I'm recording it's gonna take a while. Okay, no we don't go to that. We go to this first. We click start playing or we don't click it, we press enter. And we press door fortress as in fortress mode as in the main game. And we get this this wondrous thing Hey guys, unfortunately I've run out of time, so I hope you enjoyed this Toxic Mass Gaming presentation. I'm Rossiboys215, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.